Uh, so now we're gonna do hamburger steak and gravy. This is really kind of really similar to my meatball or my meatloaf recipe, but we it's gonna be one little thing addition that is a little bit different. Okay, this is lean meat, so I'm using 937. So whenever I use lean, I'm gonna show you the extra ingredient that I add for it. You can use whatever kind of whatever percentage of uh, meat you want to add. This is some breadcrumbs. Just gonna add a little bit. I just I just eyeball it, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the seasonings. Got some um, seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, the deal complete. Cavendish, because I know I put that sh on everything. It's like my all purpose seasoning. This is some Italian seasoning. If you just got parsley, you can just use parsley. Some black pepper, y'all. Oh, oh. Okay, Alright, some wish side sauce. I like that on um, beef. This is some mayo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put mayo. You're not gonna taste it. It's just to give it a little bit more fat, make it moist, keep it moist. Two forkfuls of mayo, a little packet of onion soup mix. Okay, you're gonna do just a little bit of milk. Again, sorry, I'm not really measuring two pours, two light kind of light pours. You're gonna do um two eggs. One. I'll mix all this in for my patties. And yeah, once you get your mixture all mixed together, just all you're gonna do is, is we doing hamburger steak, y'all. Some people call them salt, you call it Salisbury steak or hamburger steak, whatever you want to call it. Okay, using hamburger meat, so just make patties, y'all. Make like honestly, just like you're making burgers, just make patties. Um, hold on. Like you're making patties. Yes, y'all. I'm a glove girl. I don't like. Around me, y'all like y'all like just me, especially when I have my nails on, y'all. I don't like fooling with raw meat. Um, you get up under your nails and stuff, ain't nobody got time for that. If y'all like it, knock yourselves out, but yeah, I don't. So basically, just make like burger patties, okay? That's one. I'm gonna do two for the sake of the video, and I'm gonna continue off camera. We'll come back and get to the stone. Let me get to the, what the heck? Uh, no. It's like a little shell. I didn't see no shell when I did it, but I'm going to show it up with I'm in my pit. I ain't see y'all. Okay, so I'm going to continue. And then we'll get ready to get to the... Now, honestly, that might have been a, a dry onion, because I didn't see no shell going. It could have been a dry onion, but it's okay. Either way. All right. So get your thumb, um, get your pan, heat it, put your patties in. I was able to make one, two, three, four, five, six. I was able to make seven. We'll probably do four. Yeah, we'll do four. Perfect. Five to six minutes per side, y'all, yeah, something like that. Today put through. And y'all, I like to um what I've learned is to do a lid. I like to do the lid on method when I do burgers instead of just pan frying them like this and expecting them to just come out right. I, I, I like to put a lid on it. Okay, y'all. Lid on, okay? Medium, medium. High, depending on your stove and your eye, y'all know my eye weird. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. So it's been six minutes. Six. Actually, almost seven. Flip them over. That is a beautiful color. I don't want them too brown, but you definitely want them to cook through. Okay. We are gonna put them in our gravy, but you know, you still want to make sure they're cooked through already. Okay. 
six minutes, six, seven minutes on the other side, y'all, they'll be good to go. I, uh, I'm one handing it right quick, but these are, that's the other side. Put them on a plate, put the other three, and we'll do our work on our gravy. Hey, y'all, look at our gravy. We're going to do like a cup, like a half a cup of, of beef broth. That's beef broth. We're going to add in some cornstarch. Okay, I'm gonna add some more beef broth. That's too much. Get your fork or a whisk, y'all. I was kind of clunky in the bottom. Oops, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this is the mushrooms and the onions. Um, yeah, if you don't like onions, don't like mushrooms, you don't have to add it. You could just do your gravy. Okay, and honestly, for a lot of y'all, especially for my, my beginners, you can really just get you a brown gravy packet um, and do your gravy, y'all. Don't feel that bad, okay? Everybody start, Everybody had to start somewhere, okay? Even me, y'all, I started somewhere. I've been on my own since I was 18. I'm 37 now, y'all, so. Um, I ain't just start out. I mean, actually, I'm, well, actually, I've been cooking since, like, Ninth, tenth grade. So I guess about fifteen, honestly, because my mama, my mama worked two jobs a lot. So I um, uh -oh. okay. my mom worked two jobs, y'all. So I did have to learn how to cook early. You know what I mean? Like in the beginning, you know, she just call me. You know, she like, you know, take the chicken out or you know, do this, do this, do that. You know, walk me through on what to do. But you know, I I did have to um, you know, learn how to cook early. Okay. I was never neglected, nothing like that, y'all. But I did have to learn, like, if my mama worked her regular job from 7 to 5 or 7 to 4, then she worked her second job from 5 to 10 or 5 to 11, you know. I mean, you know, after I get home and get my, all my stuff done, you know, I got to eat. So, you know. And all the time, you know, even me, I ain't want no frozen meat, you know, frozen meat all the time, so. She had to walk me through some, some, some things to feed myself, or just you know I'll be cooking meat or cooking whatever, and then you know when she get home she got something to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do in the family, okay? All right, so onions and mushrooms. Y'all already know. I gotta have my cabinet. Put some seasoning on it, cabinet. Some badia complete. We still want it to be flavorful. All about to get put out, but it's okay. Onion powder. Season salt and this is garlic pepper. I would be at some people be asking me where I get this from. Y'all just get it from Dollar General. Garlic pepper is a dollar. I love it. And a little bit of garlic powder. So that way, y'all, when you add in your um your slurry with your beef broth and your um cornstarch, you um you ain't gotta season no more. It's already ready. But let this go about five, six minutes, and then oh, yeah. so that's our onions. Like, that's our onions and our mushrooms put down. We're gonna add in our celery, which is beef broth and cornstarch. Okay, we're gonna let this do its thing, get thick. If I have to add anything else, I will let you know in just a second. So we're gonna let it do its thing for a few minutes. And then we're adding our hamburger steaks into the gravy, okay? It's look, look, hold on. Let me go ahead and show you. Y'all see that? It's a little too tight. <laughs> we're gonna add so much beef broth. Okay. This should be the last time we gotta add anything. Okay. Maybe just the last time. Okay, yeah. So, um, Heads up. For the ratio that I did in the beginning, you're going to have to add another a cup, cup and a half, to uh, maybe almost two cups more of um, beef broth to this to make it, to make your gravy the way that it should be. You see that? It's still very tight. 
but this is good. But I didn't have to add like, like literally maybe like um, a one and three fourths cup of broth. I mean, a more a beef broth. So just put your hamburger steaks in back in your gravy or in your gravy. It's not even gonna fit all of them, but it's okay. It, it's nobody but us, y'all. Um, you got a bigger crowd, bigger group. You know, use a bigger pan, deeper pan. That's what we got. Okay. Let us come back to temp, and then we'll plate. 